Hello everyone and welcome to this small tutorial on how to set up your gamepad devices such as steering wheel and joystick to act as one device in Windows. The reason you might want to do this is because some games doesn't accept two devices and only accepts one input. And if you want to use two devices such as the steering wheel and the joystick then you might get in trouble. I can show you how to solve that because I had the trouble with Farming Simulator um, 2013. The reason I had is because my joystick and steering wheel they were working to together but uh, the buttons acted as the same button and then it, com it becomes totally unusable. What you want to is to download two pieces of software and don't worry they are freeware. First of all you go to this VJoystick official site, you download VJoy. Uh, the links is going to be in the description. Either the 32 bit or the 64 bit. There. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. And then you install that. You also have to go to this site to get Universal Joystick Remap. The link is also going to be in the description. Download that one. Save that zip file. Right. Installing the VJoy. The VJoy is a virtual joystick. <clears throat> now I just uninstalled it. Uh, you don't need all these, but um, I'll install them anyway. It will install a device driver, and you have to accept to install it. A virtual device is a device that's not really there, it's just a device that the computer thinks is plugged into the USB port. Successfully installed. You go into your devices and you see I have my uh, steering wheel and the wingman. Then you have the VJoy driver. You want to right click either one of your steering wheel or joystick. Go to settings. Go to advanced. And then the preferred or the primary device should be VJoy device. That means when you open the game, it's going to take the preferred device as the unit. You want to configure your VJoy device. So you search for VJoy, configure VJoy. Now, in here, you'll have a target device. And that's going to be the number that your v virtual joystick device is going to have. Uh, you're going to have to set it to configure tell it how many buttons should be there that will be the buttons on your steering wheel and the buttons on your joystick combined together that number should be the number of buttons you want to input how many axes it has right here and uh, if you have a POV hatch switch such as up and down left and right and then you click apply you have now configured a VJoy device now what you want to do is open up Universal Joystick Remapper. Right. In here, now it's already configured for the V Joystick ID 5, which is mine, but we configured one for you. Then again, you might have chosen some something else. The thing is, the device ID is the one you configured in VJoy. You have to select it here. Now, what you want to do is take the physical stick ID such as three depends if it's uh, depends if it's the steering wheel or the joystick in my case physical stick ID three is my steering wheel you have you're gonna have to try out some different IDs to check which one reacts to which one you see now this is my steering wheel I'm um, I'm turning it right and left you're gonna have to think of the virtual axis so this is the axis on the virtual device. The physical stick ID 
is the actual device you're using and the physical axis is the one on the steering wheel you want to use. So in this case, physical stick ID is my steering wheel. Physical axis is the axis that is turning right or left. We're going to remap that to the virtual joystick axis number one. That goes on. Like here we have another axis. It's physical stick ID 2. That's my joystick. Then it's the physical axis on my joystick 2, which is uh, up and down on my joystick. That's remapped into virtual axis 3. The same thing goes for all the axes down. Then you have to configure the buttons as well. All the way down, uh, virtual button 1, stick ID 2, that's the joystick, button number 1. So if I press button number 1 on my joystick, it becomes button number 1 on the virtual joystick, and so on. Now, I just went through all the buttons on my joystick. Then I started my button, the buttons on my uh, steering wheel. So you can see the virtual button 15 is button number 1 on my steering wheel. So button number 1 is remapped into button 15, and so on. When you close this, it's automatically saved. The only downside is that when you launch a game, you have to have the Universal Joystick Remapper opened before doing it. So opening this up, you can see you have all the axes configured. You can see the buttons going on and off. and so on. Now only thing left to do is to configure the game device input in the game you want to play. Thank you for watching. Happy gaming everyone. Bye!